everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 6 and looking at the last topic of this chapter is 6.4 factors to consider when implementing automation of confirmation testing. In the previous tutorial we have understood a lot about regression testing and also about new feature testing. Now considering the last aspect for the automation while transitioning between manual testing to automation, one of the good candidates is confirmation testing also. While confirmation testing is performed to follow the code fixes, generally to check if the code fix has resolved the issue or not. A tip tester typically follows the steps necessary to replicate the defect to verify that the defect no longer exists. So defects generally have a very common intention of reintroducing themselves while coming up in the next releases. So when you talk about an agile environment, a continuous integration uh, platform or methodology, generally when it comes and changes to different configuration or you do not maintain a configuration to that, probably the things may reappear in the upcoming releases. So Considering this factor and this situation, we would recommend that confirmation testing be one of the good candidates for automation as well because the test and the configuration and all the setup what is done to execute the test will remain the same. Now every time you run again, it would give you the right results which are required to be executed with respect to automation. So the automated confirmation test typically has a narrow scope of functionality. Implementing can occur at any point once a defect is reported and the steps needed to replicate it are understood. So automated confirmation tests can be incorporated into standard automated regression suite itself. You can just call making use a keyword driven framework. You can just call the respective test which you want to run at that point of time to rerun a particular set of instruction. Add on to that of course the automation uh, will be also catering the regression test following that because the fix of this issue Will, may not have caused any effect to the unchanged part of the application. So we already have understood in the previous tutorials that regression testing is a good candidate for automation and what are the factors required to be considered while automating a regression test suite. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address you. We'll be getting back to you with the sample questions of chapter 6 in next tutorial. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.